I have another uh, attempt at this wonderful crescent flower mold from Julie on pouring your heart out. And I am I dusted those flowers individually with the leaves in the center in my garage because I didn't want to get mica powder all over um, the kitchen. So I'm not going to put a back coat uh, on this one. So I've mixed up my Nick Pro resin. I'm putting aside probably 10 grams for my white because I don't need very much. It's a very small space. And um, let me see here. Okay, let me see. And I've got a little bit more room here to put some more, so that's great. but I want to make sure I have room for my bloom. And then I thought I'd use this great little, it's not quite the same color, purple. <clears throat> Excuse this project here, it's in the works. I see some bubbles. <clears throat> With the amount of bubbles I get, I really should invest in a vacuum chamber, but not yet. Because um, I can live with bubbles. And these are more, you know, just for fun to make. Um, okay, now, you know, I'm actually going to go run and see. I think I have another color that might be better than this deep purple. <clears throat> that might be more appropriate so let me put you on a pause and I'll be right back well it's not quite the one I thought so I'll stick with my purple doesn't matter um, spray it with a little alcohol and then place it in the center hopefully it'll sink down it's going to be a little off center Place it in there. Of course, because this flower um, sticker from Hobby Lobby just matches the shape of these petals incredibly. So, okay, so I've got my 10 grams and I'm gonna put um, one, just a teeny wee weeny bit more, not quite. Let me get my little stick here. There. Okay, and I'm going to mix it, put it in my piping bag, and I'll come back. Well, I'll just let you watch, and then you can um, fast forward if you don't mind. Stir that really well. <clears throat> now, I learned a lot of stuff from one of Julie's latest videos on temperature of resins, and I use that. I know um, Petra, who is so good, um, does is able to do it with just the feel. I don't think she does it by temperature, but I need to as a guide. So, um... Julie did a great one where she got a new laser gun, you know, temperature gun, and um, push that down some more. I don't know if it'll stay. Unfortunately, it might just float up because it's kind of a high level of resin there, so it may not stay sink sunk down. Okay. Fortunately, those two colors, hopefully they kind of blend together. Oh, and then I forgot I was going to put in a little alcohol ink. And, um, hmm, looking for a color. Oh my gosh, that won't go. Um, oh boy, I'm really having trouble today. I think I'll just use this grape. 
which kind of blends in with this one. Oh, good. Okay, let's just do that. <clears throat> I'm not going to do very much because I want the uh, I want the more focus to be on here. So boy, what a colorful piece. Okay, so I'm pouring my white into my piping bag. <clears throat> Not very much. That took me a while to color and dust because um, it's so delicate and intricate and beautiful. Just, it's just, I just think it's just beautiful. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, let that settle a bit, is I might move it a bit. Um, with my dotting tool and be very careful not to go onto the surface of the mold just like that a little bit so that the white petals have a little bit of color Now I'm really curious, this is the thing I learned, so I'm going to use my laser and see what the temperature is there. It says 31, so that's the center, now let me point at the edge, and that's 25. Wow, that is so cool. Oh no, that's 32. You know, I think I have a bad laser gun. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. And... Um, this feels a little bit warm. No, not quite. Let me feel. Sometimes I need to feel it that way. I don't feel it warm. So I'll wait a few seconds. So that's kind of cool shape. But anyway, I'm in love with this mold. It's just so beautiful and elegant looking. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to cut a little snippet off. I'm just going to do spirals, shall I? Yeah. No, I'll do a um, little shape like this, pointy, kind of like the shape of the petal, maybe. See if I get lucky. Now I'm noticing my stream is very narrow, so I'm going to go back. Because I, I believe, you know, your stream needs to be somewhat wide so that your white can spread. Now, what did I do over here? Okay, I didn't go around. Okay, so let me go back out here. Oh, I just went out that way. Okay, I'll come back in a minute. So let me go out. Oops, squeeze my bag a little too hard. So I'm just going to barely go to that this edge there, and Hi. I will, Hi. hold on mommy, I'm taping. Sorry, my mom didn't know I was taping, so she's talking to me. She's 92 years old, and the sweetest mom ever. So let me just do this side a bit more. Okay, now I'm going to come out here. You know, it's been really humid um, the last couple days, and I know that does affect blooms. 
there's so many factors to consider. Oops, running out there. Maybe I made this a bit too much, but too many petals, I mean. It's a little offsided. But it's okay, kind of like that, and then, you know, a little offsided here, maybe. <laughs> okay. Let me just do a few more if I can squeeze any more. <clears throat> okay, now that may not spread very much because it's very thin, so let me put another dose over it. And then I'm going to do a little like this. Okay, <clears throat> then I'm going to bring these in whoops moved my little piece there okay and then just do the usual swirl for good luck <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so torch a little, and just pray that I get a really nice bloom. I don't know, maybe I will put a top coat. Um, I'll see how much room I have, um, but at the same time, maybe not, because I can always do a dome, you know, place this over my drip pad and then do a top, top coat. But, all right, I will see you for the uh, unmolding. Okay, from this side, it looks like it bloomed. And um, I'm looking, feeling the edge, and I don't have room for a back coat. So I might have to do it the doming, the doming technique. Okay. All right. I did a black... Uh, background here so here we go oh that's pretty that's really pretty oh I like that I like the shape and I kind of like the variation um, of the petals so I'll bring you in for a close-up and look at this mold it has that two-tier of a you know it it's it right it has a rise up here it's just incredible beautiful all right i have to try this again thank you so much for watching